I've been told that this island is home to the most spectacularly beautiful beach in the whole of the South Pacific. It's a big call, I know. But apparently it has the whitest sand and the bluest water. So naturally, that's where I'm headed. The long way, of course. My quest begins on Vanuatu's biggest island, Espiritu Santo. And I've hit the biggest road, which was laid by US troops during World War II. Every explorer needs a base, and I've got to show you mine. Moyan means house by the sea. And the beauty of this place is more than skin deep. They employ locals from the village of Saralutu who own this land. So the food is authentic and your cash is helping out the community. Now the accommodation's great, but the thing that catches me, the thing that floats my boat, is it's only five odd steps and you're on the beach. A couple more this way, you could be swimming. OK, Barrier Beach is pretty close to the mark when it comes to the best stretch of sand, but it's way too convenient. And I've got somewhere else on my mind. Now, don't stress, because we are going to make it to Champagne Beach, but like I said earlier in the show, we're going the long way. And just 20 minutes down this river, there's a natural phenomenon on the island known as the Blue Hole. And in the tourist brochure, it reads that the guy does all the paddling, so all you have to do is basically sit in the canoe and take it all in. So how could I resist that? The Riri Riri flows into Santo's interior, which is scattered with blue holes like Mate Vulu, the one Willie and I are headed for. Now, even though we are paddling in an older style canoe, it's as if you're paddling in a glass bottom canoe. I mean, this water is so clear, you forget about everything around you and you're just focused on what's going on in this underwater life. It's really cool. This is something else. Far out. How deep's this, really? It's uh, ten meters deep. You can see straight down, but it's like a, it's like some kind of fairy tale or something. So it's a natural spring coming out from under here. Yeah. And how how do you get this blue colour? You know the the limestone inside uh, the, okay. the the water. Right. So yeah. the limestone's making it yeah. blue. I guess you can hear it. Blue pool, it's calling my name and saying, Jason, go for a swim. About time. Local legend, Champagne Beach got its name when a couple of US soldiers had a few here during the war. But like most legends, there's more than one story. Some say the limestone in the water makes it fizz, just like the French stuff. We better hurry up and get here. It's worth it, I tell you. 